Hey guys, this is 401 Rabbit. Today I'm going to show you how to clean um, rabbit water bottles and food and water dishes. Um, what you need is just some hand wash, um, hand soap, not hand soap, um, dishwashing soap, um, a rag, and a towel. So, I'm first going to show you how to clean a dish, and I have three dishes here. Um, it's pretty much the same for a water or a food dish, so I'm just going to show you how to clean it. Um, first, we're going to take the water dish or food dish and rinse it out with warm water. When you have it all rinsed out, take some dishwash soap and just put a little bit in there. I don't know if you can see the soap in there or not, but um, it's in there. Then I take a rag and a little bit of water and just scrub it out. Scrub the outside too. Then I just rinse it off and try to get all the soap out because, especially if it's a water dish, you don't want soap in the water. So, there. Now I'm just going to take a towel and dry it. Here, let me see if I can get the camera better. Just dry it off. Like that. And then you're done. So, it's pretty easy for a water dish. Like, just like cleaning dishes. You know, and if your food or water dish is water um, dishwash safe, you can put it in the dishwasher. So that's what I normally do with my crack dishes because they're fine as long as you put them on the top shelf. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to show you how to clean water a water bottle. Um, I'm just going to let the soap kind of die down here because. I don't clean my um, water bottle with soap. Um, first thing I do is I take the water bottle and unscrew the cover. Like that. Then just dump the water out. And then I take warm water, put it on warm, and let's see, just fill it up with warm water. Then I go and I just shake it, kind of cover the top of it so that water doesn't splash out. And just pour it out. And then add more warm water. And shake it again. And then you can do that a few times. And then um, I take and turn off the hot water and put it to cold. And I just add some cold water in there and shake it, then dump it out. And you could do it with warm and then cold a few times. And then I go, and that's pretty much it I do, um, but my bunnies don't normally drink out of a water bottle, so I don't 
and we have to clean it often. And here is the spout. I don't know if you can see, but um, let's see. But right at the tip here, there's a bit of hair. Oop, and then I'm just gonna take that off because I don't want hair on the tip. So I'm just kind of rub that off. Okay. Then I'm gonna take cold water. Rinse it off. Turn it over. Turn it over. And since water bottles have the little ball in it, it's gonna see whoa. Little ball. Um, it's not made to for water to go through the tip and out the bottom or vice versa. So when you, it's kind of hard to rinse it out then. So what I do is I just fill the tip up with water. And I take the spout and just tap it like it was a bunny drinking. So then the water's going through the um, top and out the bottom. So then it rinses a little bit. And I do that a while. And then you can do it with hot water. Just do this. Do that a few times. And then, um, then that's pretty much it. But if your rabbit uses water bottle for its main water source, then you can get little brushes that can go in the tips and you can scrub it out and it can like go in the bottom and there's some that can go in the bottle. But since my rabbits normally don't ever use the water bottle, I don't have those. So, Yep, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.